Hey, what's going on guys? Simony in here and today we're testing out an anti-missile uh, defense system built inside built into a villager house. Let's get into it, shall we? So, thing we got first thing we got going on here obviously is a regular wooden door. Over here we have our power block here. We have our radar which is set to uh smart mode. Obviously to uh, ignore our launching missile but also to uh just focus on the main missile. We have redstone mode activated. We have detect missiles and detect players. We could probably turn that off. That's not really important for us. This is, this is single player. So over here we have the missile launch area. Doesn't look like much, does it? We also have this up here. And what that does, if we go up here, you can kind of see it from the outside. But like if you're flying an airplane or whatever, you wouldn't really see it. This is our enemy launching, missile launching switch. But we also have the same thing up here, which the uh, sand is a falling block to, uh, it's not originally how I wanted to do it. Honestly, I wanted to use like signs, but it does not work in the 1.7 version. So with pistons anyway, for some reason, like the pistons do not move. So over here we have our, this is also our enemy uh, missile launch switch. And we have a um, the uh, silo door reset switch here, which resets the silo doors and the uh, launch pad. We have everything encased in concrete. The, uh, the delay here is right here for the uh, missile. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. Anyway, we got that. This is our lovely anti-ballistic missile or target designated this you don't really need that that this goes towards any ascending missile or descending missile not ascending all right so now we're gonna go back upstairs and we are going to test this out again hopefully i set it up properly because we have a thermonuclear missile this time so we have that okay oh, okay Okay, oh my god, that gave me kind of like a, that gave me like a heart palpitation, heart palpitation. I didn't think, oh, okay. See, just like that, that's beautiful. And obviously we have torches around here, and since the sand's a falling block, it actually doesn't collide with the missile itself. Or it shouldn't, anyway. It worked beautifully. Anyway, that is the, uh, the official Neon Industries um, Villager House Anti-Missile Defense System. And now, now that we've launched it, it's pretty cool. I gotta see what it looks like on the radar. So now that we've launched it, now what we're going to do is reset it. Which is one, two... Okay, I think I might reset it too many times. Yeah, it's still open. So you just want to hit it once on and off again and then that should reset it back to its default state of closed now you're going to need sand for this but we're in a village a desert village so it's pretty easy to be honest you don't really need to put sand here i like to put sand here and make it look like there's nothing here because you know you can see from the outside maybe if you're on the ground i mean to be fair you can see that anyway but regardless the thing you really want to focus on is the nine sand up here, just to uh, make it blend in with the surroundings better. Because if you're up here and you're flying around, you're—I mean—you're gonna notice that obviously, but you're not gonna really think about what it is. So anyway, that worked out so good. Let's do that again. Missile. That was a thermonuclear missile too. That's that's just crazy. So that's that's good to know though that that works with any type of missile, because at a certain point the missile will like split apart and shoot at like okay maybe that's the MIRV. I don't know if that is the MIRV. I don't know if that is like an MR MIRV type missile. Oh no, that's the wrong missile. <laughs> Imagine if I just put the wrong missile and it just blows up my base. I mean, to be fair, I do have this backed up. Oh, 
Oh, you could put sandstone around that if you wanted to. All right, so we're gonna take this and this. I gotta see how this works for myself. We need a frequency two. Gotta make sure we have a rocket. And set. So I don't really care about. So does it like display anything that shows up or does it just like sh know when something's coming? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it does. Oh my God, that is cool. That is actually really cool. That is really, <laughs> this mod just amazes me more and more every day. That's just really cool. Like, it actually shows you what kind of missile it is. That's just too damn cool. So we did the do- Nah, just do this one again. Like, honestly, that- <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just really impressed me. You could actually show- Like, you could honestly probably see if there's more than one missile coming at you as well. Alright, another sub north. And there we go back to the default it does work properly like you don't actually need the target does any other in there I just left that in there because I was testing a, um, another kind of uh, rocket just to see if this would launch actual missiles at will as well and it does I think you could put the Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys... Wait, no, no, just kidding. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.